Hello, all you lovely people online. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a scroll arrow in Divi. Now, there are a lot of steps to this, but we are going to start off with just making the arrow itself. So we're going to go into the visual builder in Divi, and then we're going to make a new row. We're going to scroll down, make a new row, set the row to whatever style you want. And then here, I'm going to do the blur module. We're going to go in here, remove any text, so no title and no body text. We don't want any of that here. And then we're gonna go into image and icon. Make sure that icon is set to yes, and then set the icon to however you wish. For here, I'm gonna use the down arrow, and then I'm gonna go into design, and then for image and icon, I'm gonna make sure that it is set in the middle, because you want this to be in the middle for your scroll arrow. We are then going to go into advanced. For CSS ID and classes, I'm going to set the ID to scroller. This is going to be used later when we go into more advanced stuff with setting the scroll arrow. But for now, this will just be getting this out of the way. We are then going to go into position and we're going to make sure that its Z index is nice and high. So for here, I'm going to set the Z index to 15. This will make sure that this won't be obstructed by any other parts in the website. And then we're gonna go into design, go down to animation, set the style to a slide. The direction for the slide will be down. The duration is gonna be 1100 milliseconds. There will be no delay. The intensity of the animation is gonna be 12% with a 100% opacity. And there we go. We're gonna make sure that the animation will be looping. Now, while this is all good to really clinch the deal, we're gonna go into advanced, go into custom CSS, and then have it be animation direction, alternate. And there we go. Now for the row, we're gonna go into advanced and set the rows position to be fixed and in the bottom center. The vertical offset, you might set this however you want for your site, but for here, I'm just gonna set the offset to 15 VH. We're gonna hit the check mark here. We're gonna save our page. And then once this is done, we are going to exit the visual builder. And there you go. As you'll see now, you have a nice arrow that will have a nice little bobbing animation. And that's how you make the arrow for the scroll for the scroll arrow. Now there are two ways to set the scroll arrow itself. For this, I'm going to do the simple solution first, which will be much quicker to go through. So we're going to go into the visual builder. And for the section you want the arrow to scroll down to, you're going to go down to the section and select the section settings. Go into advanced and set the ID to however you want. In this case, I'm just gonna set it to be VER. We're gonna hit the check mark. And then down for the scroll arrow, we're gonna have it be a link. We're gonna go to the link section, go down to the module link URL, and then do pound sign VER or however you have named your section ID. We're gonna hit the check mark. We are gonna hit save. And then we're gonna exit the Visual Builder. And we'll do a quick little test to make sure that it all works nice and dandy. And there you go, we now have our scroll arrow. Now this will only go to the section that you have set it to link to in the scroll arrow settings. If you wanna do more, we're gonna go into the advanced settings. Now for the more advanced solution to the scroll arrow, it is gonna be a bit more involved. There will be some JavaScript used as well as some CSS. But at the same time, this will allow the scroll arrow to scroll to each section on your web page. So first we're gonna go into the visual builder and we are going to remove the link in the scroll arrow because if we keep this link in, no matter what code we add, it will always go to the section that we linked to. We're gonna remove this link here. And then with that done, we're then gonna create a new row. And in this row, we will use the code module. Now I already have some code made here. I'm just gonna paste it in. This code will be in the description below for you to use. It should be good to go. There are only two areas you're gonna need to change. 
The first area is going to be in the style area for CSS. You're going to change this to be whatever you named the scroller ID to be. In this case, I did scroller. Now this CSS is just going to make it so that once you hover over the arrow with your mouse, it will go into a pointer icon. And then up here in the JavaScript section, we're going to change this in the query selector to be a scroller or whatever you named the ID for your arrow to be. And then in the JavaScript here, it will make it so that it will find the past, current, and next uh, sections in your uh, page. We are then going to save. We're going to save our page here. And then we are going to exit the visual builder. We're going to do a quick test here to make sure it all works. We're going to click. Awesome. Even more awesome. And there we go. You have a working scroll arrow that will scroll down to each section on your website. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a lovely day.